time for the tale of the tape. Ryan Garcia and Romero Duno. It's funny, Duno seems like the old man in this fight. He's only 24 years old, but Garcia turning pro at the age of 17. He is only 21. He is the taller man in the ring. We expect him to be the faster man as well. Garcia, 5'10". That's tall for a lightweight. He also has the reach advantage in this fight. Yeah, he reminds you a lot of Oscar De La Hoya. He had everything going from the looks and the hooks. And you know, Oscar De La Hoya had that gold medal springboard in him. Ryan Garcia doesn't have that. He's a very good amateur fighter, so he has got a pedigree behind him. Multiple junior national titles, over 200 amateur wins. Hard right hand that landed and shook Duno. Garcia able to land that right now. He's down, he goes. Right hand and a hook, and Duno is hurt. Duno is hurt bad. Wow, it's over. That's a superstar performance right there, Brian. Garcia waited since September. And he took care of business right away. What was supposed to be the toughest challenge of a young Ryan Garcia's career ends in less than three minutes of the first round. Wow. Your winner by KO victory. He is still undefeated. And now the new WBC Silver and NABO lightweight champion, King Ryan. Ryan. Garcia! Ryan, congratulations. In the last few months, we have seen a lot of young fighters make statements. Virgil Ortiz made a statement over the summer. Devin Haney back in mid-September. You just made a pretty significant one of your own. How do you feel about this performance? I feel good. You know, um, it's kind of what I expected, like I said. But, you know, all respect to Duno. He, he came to fight. He came in shape. He caught me with that overhand right. You see, right on the chin. And I took it, and then from there I knew I could just keep taking him and keep throwing, uh, keep coming at him. So when I took his best shot, I felt good. I was like, all right, I got him. How did that change the fight for you? Is it because you just felt it and knew you could handle it? Yeah, because everybody knows he has a big overhand right. You've seen him pit a lot of people to sleep. So I was like, all right, let me watch out. And then when I took it, I was like, oh, okay, that's what it is. And then I felt good from there. You knew that his style, he was going to be there to be hit. You said that all week long. Were you surprised at just how much he came at you, how available he was to you? He came at me like a bull. I was like, damn. Oh, shoot. I was trying to move out the way. and he was, I was like, all right, I'm going to start swinging. I'm going to let mine go then. All right, let's take a look here at the finishing shot. Tell me what you see as you put Duno down in the first round. Let's see. I do. I missed that. Started throwing that overhand. Came with that little left hook. And he kept coming. I didn't land a solid one yet. Tried to fake with the overhand. Boom. Jab right here it comes. Bang, bang. Right on. Boom. Temple shot. And it's over. Once you hit the temple, it's almost over right there. Can you tell, even at a young age, with your kind of power, do you know when you've hit somebody with that kind of knockout shot? You know, there's uh, three places to knock somebody out. It's right in the temple, behind the ear, and right in the chin. You hit anywhere, and with a solid punch, it's over. You know, this is your third fight now with Team Canelo, with the Reynosos. What's the differences we're seeing in you in your time with that camp? You know, I'm just learning uh, my overall game. You know, footwork, speed, power, everything. You know, I'm just soaking in with Canelo there. It's an honor, you know. Uh, it, it makes me feel good just watching him spar, watching the train. He gives me hugs. He tells me, you know, you're going to do good, and I feel good. And I want to thank my team. I want to thank Eddie, you know, everybody from Golden Boy, uh, Sean, my little brother. I got shout out everybody. Thank you for all the support. Uh, Viva Mexico! Let's go! Woo! Let me ask before I let you go, Ryan, you, you are both a very good fighter and a popular fighter, which makes you very appealing to some of the other fighters that are out there. We've already heard Bill Haney, the father of the trainer, Devin Haney, say, I want Ryan Garcia for Devin next. You can choose You can choose your own destiny in a lot of ways. In 2020, what kind of fights do you want? You know, I just want a better competition the more I step up. I'm only 21, and a lot of people forget that. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going at my pace. Whatever I feel uh, I'm ready for, I will take on. And, you know, those fights down the line are going to be huge fights. But when my team feels I'm prepared, I'm always going to listen to my team. You know, Canelo's in the dressing room. You shared that dressing room with him as you warmed up. What's your message to him? Because I'm sure he watched that fight. Let's do it, baby. Let's go, Canelo. Flip his ass. Let's go. Congratulations, Ryan.